GeoGebra is a very powerful mathematical software that can be used in drawing diagrams and also performing calculations. Let's get started with GeoGebra and see how you can familiarize yourself with the interface or with that software. So if you have the app installed, you can just start it. You can also go to geogebra.org, then you'll be able to use the online version, or you can also download and install that free software. So this is how the interface is. How do you plot points? So let's begin with plotting of points. So you can plot point by clicking this. You click this point here. Then you come to the graphing area here. So you can just click on a point, then the point will be plotted. So two, three. You can also plot a point in another way. If you want to plot this point three negative three, I can just type B is equal to three comma negative three. Then press equal to then you see the point plotted over there. So there are these are some ways you can plot a point. Now, if you click on this again, you can see other tools that you can use over here. For instance, if you want to find the midpoint or center of two points, let's say points A and B, you can just select this. Then you select the two points A and B. So you see the midpoints protected over here as point C. You can also draw a line through this point. You can draw a line segment through a point, or you can draw a line through the point. So you can also draw a ray through the points. If you want to draw a line through the point, you can select this, then you select the two points I want to draw a line through. So that is the line and you can see the equation written for you in the algebra view. So this is the algebra view and this is the geometry view or the graphical interface. Now uh, if you don't want to show this line, you can just click here for it to go. You can also hide these points if you want to do that if you want them back you just check them again you can delete by clicking on the three dots here if you want to delete you can also delete point by clicking on it. So if you want to select a point, you first of all have to click the move tool, then you select that point. You can delete, you right click and you delete. So you can again find the midpoint by clicking this. You can draw a line segment. You can draw a line segment. So if you don't want to draw a line, if you want to delete this line, just right click and delete. So first you have to click the move tool, then you click the line, right click, then you delete. Or you could have also deleted it from the algebra view. 
you can also draw a line segment by selecting the two points if you want to draw a line segment that is not having this starting point you can just start drawing it anyway so you can select this and this so you have drawn a line segment you can also delete it so one thing about the line segment is that as soon as you draw the line segment the distance is calculated for you so that is one way you can calculate the distance between two points you draw the line segments between them so for instance line segment AB has a distance to be 6.08 so let me just delete point D you know how to do it click here click delete then delete point E click here click delete you can also draw a vector by selecting the starting and the end point so I can select this starting point the end point here so that's a vector negative 2 2 I can draw another vector I can add vector u and v So vector u plus v, you see it here. So we can delete those things. You know how to do it. You select the move tool, then you delete. You can also delete them here. So we want to delete point E, you can delete that. Point F, you can delete it. Point D, you can delete it. We can also draw a ray. So let me delete this segment. Segment A, B. Uh, because I didn't pick, I didn't click here. So the vector was still in effect. So first, you have to, if you want to move away from a certain command, you have to click the move tool here, then select. Good. You can draw a ray, but first of all, let me delete this. So select the move tool. I want to delete a segment. You can draw a ray. So a ray through C and A. Or you can draw a ray through C and B. Or A and B as well. So a ray. Then a ray. So we can delete them. We can delete them. Now let's bring a third point. So point D. We're going to plot point D is equal to our plot point D in the third quadrant. So let me say negative one comma negative two so point D is here we can draw a line that is perpendicular through a line through a B and that will pass through point D So 
first of all let me bring the line through a and b so you want to draw a line that is perpendicular to line a b but passes through point d so you click you click here click here and select that first one so i can select this point then i'll select the line so this line is perpendicular to this line line d line f or line g line g is perpendicular to line f You can also draw a line that is parallel to line AB through point D. So line H is parallel to line. So let me click the move tool so that I will leave that command. So line H is parallel to line F. You can also draw perpendicular bisector of line segment AB. So if you have a line segment AB, you can draw a perpendicular bisector. So when you click on the perpendicular bisector, you have to select two points or one segment. So if I select point A and B, I will draw the perpendicular bisector of that line. Or you can just select the line segment AB. Now let me hide these lines for now. Then for now, let's go to the next tools the polygon tool so you want to draw a triangle you just select the three vertices then we draw a triangle If you want to draw a regular polygon, you select any two points, then you enter the number of vertices. So I select these points and these points. So if I want to draw a square, then you enter four. If you want to draw a pentagon, you enter five. If you want to draw a hexagon, you enter six. Then you press enter, then you see the polygon is drawn here. Now, you can also draw a circle through the point. So let me do away with the polygon for now. And one thing about the polygon tool is that when you draw the polygon, it calculates the area for you. So the triangle, where is it? I want to undo the triangle. So this is a triangle. Now I'm going to draw a circle through the points. You can draw a circle through three points. So you select A, D, and B. You can also draw a circle with a center. So you select the center of
of the circle so let's say this is the center then if you want it to pass through this point you click that so these are different ways that you can draw a circle so you can explore the rest now if you want to draw a tangent to this circle you come back to this tool here come back to this tool so you click here then you select point or line so I'll select this point then I'll select this so you select a circle and the point on the circle then it will give you that tangent you can also draw a tangent from a point to a circle so if you want to draw a tangent from point i then we select the point i and select the circle so it will draw two tangents from the external point to the circle that is given so now we have done a lot of things over here let me hide some of them and reveal some of them so let me reveal this and this so you can measure the angle between two lines so let's come to this two here. We can measure the angle between two lines. So you select the lines that you want to measure the angle. So you see the angle between them is 90 degrees. Yeah, there's another way of measuring the angle as well. Let me show you that one too. So you select this angle too. Then you want to measure the angle. Okay, it is already measured here. So you want to measure the angle. Let me use another one. Let me use another one. So let me draw. triangle using the segment so this is another way you can draw a triangle using the segment now if you want to draw measure the angle between them another way you can do it is to select three points so this is the angle that is there you can adapt or you can change the size of the angles when you move the point so first you have to select this point here then move and drag to change the size of the angles now let's come to color you can change the color of any objects that is here so one way to do it is to right click to select the object then you right click then you go to settings so as settings you can see the color here so you can change the color to any color you want you can adjust the opacity
So any color you can choose. If you come to basic, you can see you can name the polygon over here. And if you want only the name to show, you can just click here and the name will show. So that is the labeling you are seeing here. The same thing you can do to the to the lines. You come to color, you can change the color to any color you want. You can also change the style. If you want to decorate it, you can do that. So you want to show that this and this are equal in mathematics you can do that you can decorate a line segment so let's say i have a line segment two line segments this and this this and this You can decorate the line segment. So you go to style, select the line segment, you go to style, then you select that the apparel. You decorate it that the apparel. So if you don't want the name to show, you can just right click, then click label. Label will go. You can do the same thing here. You can also do the same thing to the points. If you don't want the labeling to be there, you can just click and the labeling will go. If you want to draw a line segment with a specified length, you can do that. Select the initial point, then you type the length five units. So that is it. You can reflect an object. So if I select this tool and I select this. I can reflect it in a given line. So you see the image here. You can adjust, you can zoom in and zoom out with the tools here. If you want to go to the normal view, you come here. You can hide the axis. You can hide the grid. You can also bring them back when you check that. So here is the introduction to GeoGebra. If you want to move the axis, you can just select that and move the axis. We'll be talking about the other tools in the next video. So please, this is just an introduction. We'll be looking at into detail what you can use, you can get from GeoGebra. So please do not forget to subscribe. See you in another video.